Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel, and a bit of something has been added to Warframe recently. They have uh, tactical missions of sorts, and it's actually not missions necessarily, but alerts. Now, usually in Warframe, when you go up to your navigation system, you get all these planets, and above them, there'll every now and again be a little exclamation mark with a triangle. There's not one showing up right now, but these are different from that. They are alerts, but they're also timed, like the previous ones, but they also lead towards a total success rate. So if I exit this really quickly, you'll see that if I was to walk up to this panel, you see that big long progress bar that shows up there. You get a reward if you complete that, and each time you do the mission, the special mission, you get a certain amount of points depending on how many of these hyena enemies you attack and destroy in that. I believe that's where you get the points from. Either way, this mission is also different in the fact that if you look at it, it says the level range of the enemies in there, but it also says that 700 number. Now that's conclave level. And you might say, oh what, you have to have a conclave level of 700 to even do the mission? No. You have to have a conclave level under 700 to do it, so it's trying to make it more difficult for you. And to get to that point, you can see here I've unequipped a lot of stuff. And you can look at the very bottom right of your screen, you'll see the conclave level. I'm 313 out of 518, 518 being my total. The 313 is just from my frame. The 205 is from my weapon. And if you look at my weapon setup, I'm currently leveling this back up, so it doesn't even have all of its mods in it, which would increase this conclave level. And also, if we were to zoom out and go ahead and look at my actual Warframe, you can see I have most of my mods here unequipped. Just my iron skin and some extra shields oh, and enemy radar because I need my enemy radar. And let's go ahead. I think I have a room for one more mod in here. Let me see real quick. I do just this one here so we don't really worry about running out of ammo. So let's do that and you see that would have raised my conclave level a tiny little bit, but not enough to push me over that 700 marker. So let's go ahead and actually run that mission now. So we'll head over here, click on Jupiter, which is where it was, click on that mission. Let's do a play now because I'm actually in solo mode. And here we go, it'll start up in a second here. Very nice. And check this out. Uh, you can barely see it for a second there. My ship was sort of swaying to the left. If you're at a lo longer loading screen, go ahead and press WASC. You can actually fly your ship around in that loading screen. It sort of drifts on your screen. It's actually pretty dang cool. Discovered that the other day. Here we go in mission. I really quickly put up my iron skin. And you see my radar is full of enemies. And you'll notice that there are some special enemies running around over there. Those are hyenas. They are, uh, well, they're more dangerous. They have their own huge assortment of weapons. You can see that they jump on walls. They have a bad habit of dodging my arrows. And you see they do a lot of damage. Right there he did that big fire attack. The other guy did one too, and I just rolled into it, I think. Let's try to back off here. These guys actually scare the crap out of me. If I was using something like my Soma, I think I wouldn't be so fearful of them. But the fact that I'm using this slightly underpowered bow at the moment, mm, it's not so comforting. You see that stupid fire attack actually just went through door. Now, I'm actually trying to target its buddies to get them out of the way. Oh, okay. And that should make them easier pickings. Now, I would also use... Okay, look at my health. So my shield, my special iron skin wore off, and now it's down, okay, now I'm in trouble. Now it's down to the point where they're just doing damage directly to me. And this one actually came into the room with me, that is terrifying, why are you in here? No, I've just ran into the fire. Well, that's just not cool. That's not cool at all. I did this mission earlier with just the bow, the proof of concept, and it was possible! There we are, I killed one, I think. I think. God dang it. Why won't you give me a second to regenerate my health? Usually there's not like 50 of them in that first room like this. Rack off! There we go. He's definitely dead. That green burst there. Whew. That was scary. Let's just heal up for a minute here. I actually have enough energy to put my iron skin up. I'm not going to do that right away. That was a mistake to do that right away. I should have saved it for when I got in trouble. Which I very quickly did get in trouble. I moved out of the way there because I wasn't sure if he was going to send something flying through the wall. And right up the rumpus. And... Got him. And he's going to do his little ground bash. For some reason, I'm still on fire. I guess I was still standing in sight of it. It does have a pretty wide range. And I ah, see there, he dodged that arrow like I was talking about earlier. And you see at the top left there, it's a little hard to see because I'm zoomed in. But there, I've killed 10 out of 101 enemies. It can be fairly problematic to deal with these guys. There we go, got him. I know I could be doing this easier with the Soma, but I prefer the Burr, Burr? Bow, just because I love the bow. It's a lot of fun. And it's more satisfying when you do take out an enemy with a bow, I find. And let's get rid of this camera. 
And, okay, there's another one. You can always tell it's one of them because they have that big array. And I've already did damage to him, so I was able to finish him off in one hit. Now, if you are unaware of this, there is a camera scanning system in this game. And usually, if I was fighting these guys, I'd be pressing the control button to switch over to it and doing a scan on them. But I've actually done these missions a few times already, so I've already scanned them as many times as I can. The way you can get to that is, like, here I have my hotbar. I've gone ahead and bought the codex scanner. I've equipped it there, and I've hotbound my control key so I can really quickly just switch to it. But anyway, if you are doing this for the first time, I would suggest going ahead and equipping that in a similar way to what I have there, and then scanning those guys. That way they can be in your codex. Let's kill over here. Goodbye, camera. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. Luckily, it's just a tiny guy. He's toast. He's toast. And you see these guys got that aura around them. That the hyena was indeed approaching. And there we go. It's dodging my stuff. Okay, I just panicked and missed. And he launched a big fireball at me. Come here. There we go. And you see those blue numbers popping up because I'm eating away at his shield slightly every time I hit him. And there we go, there's a yellow number. I think that meant that we've actually gotten through his shields and now we're working on his armor. Either that or it's just because we're critting him. There we go, and come on, please. Okay. He who hesitates dies in fire. There we go, got him. Sweet Swiss cheese. And hopefully there's not another one coming up any second here. Because that way we can regenerate some shields and just take out a few little tiny bad guys if there are any. I think that's pretty much all of them as a camera over there. We don't really need to take these cameras out, so let's just keep moving. Now you see on the radar, of course, as per usual, in any mission there's those little green indicators to tell you where to go until you get into a room. This area has taken some hits. Stay away from fire damage. No oh shit, Sherlock. Until you get into a room with enemies and then of course it just show turns the whole sort of room red on your radar. To inform you that hey, there's bad guys around, and this guy hates his attack so much because he sh uh, fires those little bubbles about and they explode on the walls and stuff to make that blue aura. And if you get hit by that, you just get bounced all over. Usually, with my iron skin on, it's not an issue at all, but the fact that I have to use my iron skin somewhat sparingly here because of the high assortment of enemies that can actually take me down well, it means I'm a bit more scared of them than I usually would be. Let's just finish you off, you prick. Camera. a lot of explosions going on there and you see everyone's got the aura that means there's a hyena nearby i just saw him jump over there and i guess he's through the whole wall now let's get rid of you oh my goodness gracious and you see the longer you hold a bow the longer it charges so you can charge it up more and i think bows yeah i have a mod that does double shots so it shoots two bullets for every one i think they only fire one bullet if you don't charge them up all the way so you gotta make sure you charge them up the way if you wanna do all your damage. Now there is a mod that'll speed up your attack fire, which means you'll charge up your bow quicker. And also the reload time between fire and between you can start charging again. There's a mod for that too, it's reload speed. There we go, there's a hit, and I missed. Oh, I got him once. There we go, and he's down. That was nice, I was, uh, wasn't sure I would be able to hit him. It actually hit the wall there, you could notice it hit a bit of the edge and it went through the wall. Uh, let's just keep on going. Luckily with that ammo modification thing I equipped before we started, I don't have to worry about my ammo running out really because it converts any ammo I find into the proper kind. There we go, and that was this weapon leveling up. And that's a turret that's not activated right now. Okay. Oh good, another one. Two of them. Jesus. Okay, that's scary. Uh, my iron skin's worn off. Shall we just leave it off until we feel like we're really in tr Yeah. That was me turning it back on if you didn't catch it. If I missed twice, there's an opening there. You stupid bullets, make it through. And I hate the fact that their ground bursts can go up that ramp or up slopes and stuff. Dang it! This is where, if I had my other Rhino abilities, I'd be doing a little AOE attack to stun them all. That way, I can line my shots up without them jumping around. So okay, I need to stay calm. They jump back to this point repeatedly. I can just line up there. And you see I'm very much used to playing Rhino and not having to worry about dodging everything. And I think I was wrong about needing to charge the bow up all the way to get a double hit. Okay, let's retreat. Let's retreat. And what I'm going to do right now, because I don't want to die this time, I'm going to go ahead and pop that, and I'm going to pop this. What those are... Frack you! They're sort of like health... One of them's a health regen, one of them is a... Oh, you son of a donkey. Oh, you little bastard. Stop with the fire! Stop going through the ceiling! There, you didn't dodge that one. Probably dodged that one. One of them was a health respawn, and one of them was a... There we go, got one. 
and one of them was a shield, uh, not shield, energy respawn. That way I can have more energy to keep putting up my iron skin. Whew, that way I don't get wasted. Wowzers, okay. <laughs> yeah, when I put out one of my last Warframe videos, people said, hey, what's the point of watching these videos? This guy's at in the game. Well, I present to you, not my solution, but, um, the dev solution to, hey, you're at in the game, let's make things harder for you. Make you purposely weaken yourself. Which is pretty clever, I like it. It's a lot of fun. And let's just get rid of all these. It's nice to be able to take out some of these normal guys as well as those damn bastards. Oh, just, I was just taking a breather there and all of a sudden more enemies are on me. There we go. Shall we continue? And I suspect we're about to run into another one of those hyenas here. Yep, look at this guy. I mean, mate, you see the slight ripples above him of red? That means there's one of them nearby. Effect, because he affects everyone near him. I think it gives everyone actually fire abilities. Or at least a fire charge to everything they're shooting at. And it's probably just a camera. It is. Oh good, this is a closed door. So let's see if we can line up a shot through a door. Here, let's do this. Can I see anybody through the door using my camera? No. That's annoying. Somebody just did a ground pound or something through the door. I wonder if I depressurized... Oh, there we go. I knew I could get some people through the door. Let's try aiming over here. Oh, got a few more. Let's aim right there. Got a few more. Let's aim right there. I missed that time. There we go. Got some. That looks good. Got a few more. I know it's a bit of a cheap thing, but let's be honest. It would be amazing to be on the other side of this door and see the panic of the enemies running about going, Why are we being shot at from? I don't think I can get any more. I'm not able to figure out their heights properly. Let's just pop the door open, shall we? The bypass is and... Uh, oh, got him. And you see right away there's a bunch of stuff on the floor. There is one of those guys, though. And that guy did his ground pound as well. There's a lot of nonsense happening right now. Let's back off here. Let's just try to be calm and take out some enemies as they run at us. As I backed into something. Now, Bo, as you might guess, is usually intended for slightly wrong or long. Wow, it's a big blast radius. Long range, that way you're not, like, right up against them. And, of course, I was right up against them when they first came through that door, which was terrifying. <sighs> okay, there we go. We've taken out everything but these damn hyenas. I do wish you could get a hyena as a pet, though, because they're pretty dang awesome. And as cool as the Kubros can be, I have a real dog, and I'd kind of rather just have a mechanical dog in this game. Because if I want to see a real dog-like thing, I'll just go snuggle my actual dog. And this guy is almost toast. There we go. I think that killed him. Yes, it did. Woo! Yeah, I lost a bit of health there. Woo, scary. Let's go ahead and loop this guy's corpse for the heck of it. Oh. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, hi. Bye. <laughs> and we got enough energy just laying around on the floor that if my iron skin wasn't already activated, we could go ahead and activate more. Huh. Okay, some enemies spawn out of those. Can I hack any of these? No. Sometimes you can hack those things and get yourself a few enemy buddies running about. And I was about to say, hey, look, there's one of them nearby because their thing was on the, on the ceiling. The camera there was doing its little I am being affected by evil thing. I missed. Cannot wait till I get that mod on here to make the charge rate on the bow a little bit faster. Get over here. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, who saw me? There's a camera somewhere that saw me. And you can see now my iron skin is wore off. You see I'm not all shiny. Put that back on nice and shiny. Let's actually go back and I think his missile thing just hit the ceiling. He's about toast. Oh, is that a second one or is that the same one? I can't tell. I think it's the same one. Yeah, he's now in, in well, now my radar is clear of uh, proper enemies. The only enemies showing up on there now are just the little tiny buggers that are stuck to the ceiling, like that turret right there that I can't kill because it's not activated. Which is a bit annoying that you cannot kill act unactivated turrets. Oh, by the way, I don't have a melee weapon equipped right now because, of course, I unequipped it to save more. Oh, great, another high out of the way to save Conclave level. But you can do these little jump kicks if you jump and crouch. So I can't actually break things with this if I can aim properly, which apparently right now I can't because I'm derping pretty hard. But I was doing it earlier. There we go, like that. You can jump and crouch and break that. And I was actually trying to fight enemies the last time I tried one of these with that because I didn't have that ammo mod on, so I actually ran out of ammo, so I was trying to kill enemies using just jump kicks. I failed. 
It didn't help that there were a few hyenas shooting at me as well, though, so I'm going to use that as a slight excuse. So we're currently finding, I think, three hyenas if there's still one in that room. There is, so that's not good. Let's go ahead and fire as we back away, please. Okay, let's try to get out of line of sight. Oh my god, can you see at the top right there we have a little five with a flame symbol next to it, meaning I've got that many stacks or seconds left of flame damage. Whew, and now it's gone. If we actually look at my radar, you can see they're right behind this wall. So I might be able to get a lucky shot. I think the wall's too thick. Yeah, I think the wall's too thick. I think that actually staggered him. Either that or he's got a terrible animation for firing that stuff off his back. The little bombardment he does. Either way, we're picking away at these little pricks. And making some progress. There we go. That's one down. Oh, God! Did he just jump in here with me? Either way, I panicked and ran. Let me check our ammo levels. We're fine. And you are dodging my arrows, which is not very nice. Got him! And you see that last arrow, I didn't even charge all the way because he was about to jump, I think, and he had so little health. And I'm panicking here and missing. And I know a lot of people probably like to shoot without aiming in, but I pretty much play everything aimed in whenever I'm shooting, which is, I don't know, slightly unfortunate. Did you really just spawn right there? And this guy here, if you don't know, that's a Guardian Extremis, whatever. If they got that red glow on them, it means they're a special type of enemy that has sort of effects on them. Usually environmental effects like ice or cold or heat or whatever. Ice or cold are the same thing. Ice, electricity, or cold. There we go. Oh, God! I'm so used to having my iron skin on that I usually don't think before I run through those dang doors. But of course, without my iron skin on, when I run through a door, if a camera sees me, it puts up those little lasers and knocks me on me own arse! Uh, yeah. There you go. Let's see. There's one enemy left on this map, I suspect. Yep, there he is, little tiny guy. Bye bye. That's everything defeated. Other than you, I can't detect a single life form. Let's get out of Yay! here. Yay! Now we can just follow the green and get out of here. Don't even need to deal with these little cameras and turrets shooting at me, really. And if I had a melee weapon too, you can slide and then hit your melee button and you'll do a spin and you'll go under those beams. But, of course, like I said earlier, no melee weapons, so I can't even do that. I have to actually be slightly more cautious. It's interesting. I like this idea of sort of making you pigeonhole yourself to make things more interesting. It's pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. And I'm sad that you can't, like, hit stuff while sliding on the ground, apparently. Ah! Oh, good. I just jumped over it. I don't know why I'm obsessing with trying to break this singular one here. I feel sort of like I had to. There we go. I got one bow ammo to max my bow ammo out for some stupid reason. No other camera. Okay, then let's just get the evac instead of me dilly dallying shooting at that nonsense. And there we go, evac. And you'll be able to see, I think it's if I scroll down, there we go. At the very bottom there, it's slightly faded out. The mission score, that's how many more points I got towards this sort of objective thing. And so now I've got 13 out of the needed 100 to get one of the rewards. And every time you do one of these, uh, get the bar all the way to 100, you get a sort of uh, icon for this event. And then you get a better version of the icon every time you do another 100, I believe. So it's pretty cool, pretty awesome. You see there, I'm at 45 out of 100 now. I'm going to keep doing this. As my bow keeps leveling up, I'm going to keep sticking more things on there as long as my conclave level doesn't go all the way up. And Oh, by the way, one last thing. I should actually make it clear that you don't just get uh, all 100. What, you don't just get all 100 points done and then while you're there, you actually have to do the mission one more time at an even lower conclave level. And then you get the reward. It's pretty interesting. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. There might be a few variants. I don't know. But we'll find out. I hope this was informational and enjoyable. And I'll see you next time.